for me, social trust is the willingness to offer a stranger help, even when they're different from me, and the expectation that they would help me too. Social trust is critical to our work, which is promoting religious pluralism. That's a society in which religious and non-religious can thrive, respecting and engaging together across beliefs. I don't believe in God, but I show up first to protect other people's right to worship because I value the right not to worship. It's the same shared right. And, you know, trust isn't something I demand of other people. It's something I earn. So I show up first to protect other folks' rights, your rights, to worship or not according to your conscience, before I demand protection from mine. And I invite you to do the same. Let's all of us earn each other's trust. Social trust is important to our vision of society because we can only address injustice when we have mutual trust. Trust facilitates collaboration and collaboration leads to impact. And impact moves us closer to a thriving society held together by social trust. My view of social trust is acknowledging and respecting another person's dignity as a human and wanting what's best for them. Social trust is critical to our work at the Religion and Society program because we work towards religious pluralism, which we believe is a society where religious and non-religious people thrive. Social trust is built on a solid foundation of meaningful relationships. If we are to coexist with one another and to coexist well, on a solid foundation. We need to rely on one another, have confidence in one another, and have integrity when we're in relationship with one another. For me, having faith in my neighbor, in my community, and in humanity is integral to social trust. And as someone who's lived in this country for almost 40 years now, and who's faced all kinds of issues around mistrust, people not trusting me, because of how I look. I felt firsthand what that means in terms of my own abilities to feel free and to find happiness. As a parent, all I want is for my girls to be happy. All I want is for them to live with that freedom. And so trust becomes a really important aspect for creating the kind of society in which I want to raise my daughters. So that to me, more than anything else, is why trust has become such an important priority for me as someone who lives and works and parents in this country.